Hi, I want to talk to you today about a very special software. That special software is meant for those in academics. It is called Publish or Perish. Okay, you can get it, it's a free software, and you can install it on your computer and you'll be able to see your H index and be able to see the impact your own research is uh, making. So you can go to Google and just uh, enter this uh, search term, publish or perish software free download. Okay. And then you can download it. It's a free software. Let me download and install. And you see the way it works. Okay, you can click here on download and install, publish or perish. And of course, you have a lot of uh, options. Okay, if you are using Windows, uh, Windows 7, or you can use it on your Mac notebook. Okay, so whichever one you're using, uh, you can just uh, download and uh, install uh, the software. All right, so I use uh, Windows. Okay, so I select a uh, publish or perish on Microsoft Windows. Okay, then I'm going to uh, follow the download uh, instructions given here okay i can look at this download instructions you can see here the publish or perish is provided courtesy of uh, housing.com it is free for personal non-profit use all right so it's a free software that you can use all right so let me try to install it okay all right so i have to wait a little bit for the software to Download. Let's uh, hope it doesn't uh, take too long to download and then uh, install it. And then I'll be able to start using it immediately. Uh, one of the ways you use the software is to try to search the name of an author and it will list out the publications carrying that author's name and you'll be able to see uh, the impact that particular author is making in terms of uh, publishing in that particular field, okay? All right, so my download is uh, finished. I just need to double click on it. By the way, I'm using uh, Google Chrome, but it's all right if you're using uh, Internet Explorer or Firefox or any other browser you're using. Um, uh, it's still be all right, you know? Okay, so I'll double click on it and then I'll be ready to install. Okay, all I just need to do is to follow the instructions given here. All right, so I click next and then I have to agree to these terms and conditions. I have no time to read through all of uh, the and use a license agreement. Huh? Many a times we don't uh, bother to read those things, but uh, it's a good habit to, to read them. Okay, but I wouldn't bother. Okay, so I just uh, go ahead and then uh, install it on my laptop. Okay, installation completed. All right, so it has successfully been installed on my computer. All right, so I can just uh, click on finish all right so um, let me try to to use it since I finished uh, installing all right if you like you can create a, a desktop uh, desktop uh, shortcut okay I don't have a, a shortcut so I have to go through the longer process and check uh, under the programs. I go to all programs and then I come to publish or perish. All right, so if I want, I can also create a shortcut for it on my desktop. So it will be easy for me to just uh, click on it 
uh, from the desktop and then uh, launch the software. All right, so let's wait for it to, to open. Okay, now it's uh, opening. You have uh, lots of options here that uh, you can you can use. Um, been the first time I'm installing. Um, I can decide to go through the manual. There is a user's manual here. Okay, you can decide to go through it to be able to see how to use uh, the software. It's a very nice, very important uh, uh, software. It's quite helpful. Uh, but let me just uh, show you one of uh, the ways to use it. I just go to Auto Impact, for example. I want to see the impact of a particular auto in a particular field, for example. All right, so uh, one of the things you can do is to enter the auto's name, the name the auto uses for its publications. Of course, uh, so name of the auto and initials, okay? So I can, for example, enter initials of uh, a particular auto okay let's say uh, this auto for example and then i can decide to look up uh, the impact of that auto maybe in this uh, particular field uh, sometimes some people use names that are very common that uh, many other people use so you might wish to exclude uh, maybe some particular names um, in the search, maybe use uh, very common names like James, like uh, uh, Ahmed, uh, names like uh, Robinson, stuff like that. All right, so let me just look up. I just click on uh, look up here. All right, so my query is in uh, progress. All right, sometimes it might take a few minutes uh, while it is searching. Okay, but uh here we are all right so for example this uh, particular auto has a h index of one all right so g index one you know uh, you'll be able to see sites per year of that particular auto usually it's nice to just uh, go through to be sure that all the publications here belong actually to that particular auto all right if they don't, what you can do is to untick in the box. Okay? You can untick from the box. But in this case, uh, all these publications uh, belong to this uh, particular auto. All right? So, and then um, I'm able to see the H index, G index, uh, HC index, you know, of uh, that auto. And then uh, I can use it for whatever purpose I want to use it. Uh, you can search for your own self, you know, maybe what impact you're making in terms of uh, publications in your field, and then you can easily get your H index. So uh, that is uh, one way that you use this software. You can explore other ways, like uh, journal impact. You can put a journal title and find out the impact of the journal. You can check stuff like general citations. And then you can have a multi-query center and uh, where you can enter several queries at uh, the same time. And there is a provision here also, web uh, browser. And of course, you can uh, please go through the, the manual and see various ways you can use this particular software. You can come under help here and then you'll be able to see the, the contents, uh, what's new in this particular. Uh, release of the software because it's updated from time to time. You can also see a two-minute uh, introduction, frequently asked questions, and the publish or perish book, you know, about publish or perish, okay? All right, so this is uh, quite important uh, that you familiarize yourself with uh, this particular software so that you can get to use it and uh, and enjoy it, okay? so. I think uh, that's enough for now for the introduction. Thank you for listening. Bye.